Oh, for sale now, vehicle max of a beautiful 2009 Nissan Maxima SV. Black on the outside with tan leather interior, completely loaded up with factory navigation, factory backup camera, panoramic moonroof, heated seats, cool seats, tap shifting, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It's only 27,000 miles. As a clean title and a clean Carfax, you can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest, <coughs> 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself on our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. We're going to go ahead and get inside of the car now and get it started. This vehicle has the uh, intelligent type key. This is the type of key that you put in your pocket and you never really have to worry about it after that. When you approach the vehicle on both front door handles, there's a little switch. You press it once for the front door and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. So, and now all four doors are open. Okay. Door panels are tan with the charcoal on the top. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel. This particular unit has a telescopic tilt wheel, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Wood trimming, memory seats for up to two drivers, power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support on uh, both sides. Tilt wheel is operate done now. Tilts up and down, as well as in and out. Okay, go ahead and uh, push back in just a little bit and I'll get inside and show you the rest of the um, options. Okay, um, let's pan over the seating area before I sit down. This, the uh, outer sections are solid. The center sections are perforated for the heated seats and cool seats. Car has no burn holes, no cuts, no tears, no discoloration anywhere in the seats. Door panels, headliner, carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke so it looks like the previous owner was a non-smoker. Curtain side airbags on this post here for the front passenger's heads and another set of our curtain side airbags here on the rear row for the rear passenger heads. We have a uh, shade that is power, goes up and down by electrically. Also, not only do we have the curtain side airbags, but we also have uh, seat side airbags. Okay, so the key is still in my pocket. <clears throat> Once I get inside the vehicle, the car will recognize that the key's nearby, and as you see, it's asking me to step on the brake and hit the push button start. And you only press it once, you don't have to hold it. And uh, let's give it a second to warm up for just a minute. This is the meantime, let's put the air conditioning. And we'll put the fan nice and low so you can hear me talk. That's good right there. All right, um, uh, we're going to go ahead and open the shade now. Uh, the, the shades will retract in this direction and from the back to the front here. Okay. The front portion of the moonroof opens, the rear portion does not. Okay. And uh, let's leave it open now for the video. Let's go ahead and put the navigation. And there's your navigation. Okay. Uh, also, when we put the vehicle in reverse, the rear camera will come up and as you can see is a full color camera and it has the parking lines uh, which when you turn the steering wheel those will angle to whichever side the vehicles will be going um, with the steering wheel turned. <coughs> Go ahead and leave it the shifter back so I can show you the heated seats and cooled seats here. I've got heated seats with two different levels of comfort high and off I mean sorry high and uh, low and this is the shade and uh, let me see if I can Show it to you over my shoulder. And there it's retracting. And we'll put it back up. So you can see it both going up and down. All right. Again, as I was saying, not only do we have a, it's a little hard to see here, but not only do we have heated seats, on for the driver's side only, by the way. This is for the passenger side, heated only. The driver's side has also cool seats, so I would turn the knob in this way. And this is a cool section. Um, the, to the right is the heated section. 
All right. Um, leather shifter. Okay. Automatic transmission with a manual shifting mode. And what I mean by that is, as you can see here, is your positive and your negative. Okay. Uh, and this is how you're going to drive the car. Parking. Reverse. Neutral. And then drive. And that's how you're going to drive the car 99% of the time. But if you want to put a little sport into it and make it shift manually, all you got to do is push the lever over. And you can tap up or tap down to make it shift manually. But in this particular unit, not only do we have the tap shifting here, which is actually standard, but we have it in the steering wheel, which is an option. You can see the plus there. This is to upshift. So I would just tap on it here. And to downshift, you can see the negative on that shifter tap there. And you, you would tap on here. <coughs> If that doesn't interest you, just leave the lever on the right hand side and you won't have to shift manually, the transmission will shift for you. Okay, uh, this is the top of the line uh, stereo. This is a Grace Note that plays, uh, that has also Bluetooth. It's a uh, six disc uh, CD changer. It also plays MP3s and um, has a satellite stereo as well. Let's see the satellite is active. It's probably oh no, it is. With active. Taylor, uh, I, I I did a gig in in Nashville at the Ryman with with. Let's see here. Right now we're. Uh... Right now we're. Uh... You can raise the volume here. Or lower the steering wheel. All right, it does have the Bose stereo sound system. As you can see, the satellite is active right now. We're using the previous owner's uh, account uh, until he cancels it. And then eventually you'll have to sign up for your own. Uh, by the way, the cool seats works very good. A little too good for my for me today. It's not that hot today, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because it's making my backside cool. Okay, um... The steering wheel is like a two-tone. It's like a dark black over here and like charcoal over here. This section here is solid. This section here is perforated. And I'll pan around the next and slow so you can see it's in great shape. By the way, your cruise control is right here. The vehicle's in really, really nice shape. I mean, it only has 27,000 miles. Whoever had it took real good care of it, too. Okay. <clears throat> uh, these are all of your stereo controls here. Here's your control for your Bluetooth to, uh, to speak and to hang up. It's voice command. Okay, volume as we just sh showed you a minute ago. This is to go back. This is to navigate about your preset stations. For example, um, let me see if I can go to AM FM here. Okay, and these are the presets right there. So when you click that button up and down, you would be moving from this to this to this and so on. You can also uh, touch it manually. As you can see, it is a touch screen. All right. And... Um, over here, the source button is the one that you press to go from, uh, see right there, we're going to XM, AM, and FM, okay? Um, okay, we got wood trimming all around on the door handles here, okay, around the, um, the stereo controls and the air conditioning control, also around the shifter down here. This is your cup holder here, okay? And this is just a tray for like, uh, I don't know, you can put just for whatever you want in there. Got a cigarette lighter adapter down there so you can charge your phone with it. Okay, uh, the center console here where you rest your elbow has two tabs. One here and one here. This one here is for your top tray. For like pens and um, uh, smaller stuff, you know, business cards, whatever you want to put on there. And down here is your, uh, your, your deeper storage which has uh, coin slots here. Also, as you can see, it has your iPod interface cable. Okay. And also has a cigarette lighter adapter over here. And um, here's your video input. So if you could power it, you can actually play it on this screen right here as long as the car is in park. Okay. Uh, what else? Let's talk about uh, the rear view mirror. The rear view mirror is... Um, an auto dimming rear view mirror. What that means is if somebody puts their high beams on you, it senses the light and it darkens the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. The three little houses you see there below the, uh, to the left and to the right of the uh, green little light, that's your home link or universal garage door opener. You can program up to three garage doors or gates. Let's pan around the dashboard now. So you can see this is in great, sh in great shape without any burn holes, cuts, tears, 
not lifting up anywhere, it's not cracked. Car is in phenomenal shape. Kind of over the passenger seating area. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. Okay, vanity mirror with the extension. Um, as I was saying before, the car has 27,812 miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the left-hand dial. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just solely so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. Everything is working to perfection. Right in the middle here has that outside uh, temperature readout. Let's just know that it's 77 degrees outside. And uh, I think we might be ready to move on to the back. I don't think I've missed anything. If I have, please call me and I'll be glad to uh, discuss it with you or answer any questions you might have at 305. 218-5462 okay right up here is your original owner's manual with a booklet and all the supplemental um, uh, booklets that you need down there it's, uh, it's like a mesh for the trunk and uh, I think from here I think it might be a wheel lock there I'm not sure but everything that you need from factory is all in there looks like it hasn't even been opened all right all right so let's um, I'm going to leave the moonroof open, even though it's got nothing to do with their demonstration for the key. Remember, the key has never left my pocket. Now, when I'm ready to exit the vehicle, I don't even have to step on the brake. I just have to push the stop button. Okay, the doors unlock, as you heard, so I can gain an easy access. But before I get out, let me also show you that we have, uh, here's your power trunk, which you can open from here or from your remote. Heated steering wheel, which is uh, an option. And the power mirrors are over here. And then here's your slot to charge your... Uh, your key in case you're uh, in case uh, when you go to uh, you know your battery dies on your uh, on your key in a little oval thing uh, or you can just stick it in that slot um, okay so now when you exit the vehicle sorry I lost my track there for a moment when you exit the vehicle you're ready to uh, walk away from it uh, you can do one of two things you can just press it once which is the easiest thing and that locks all four doors or you can reach in your pocket and press the, uh, as you're walking away, you can press the lock button. Again, to open it, once for the driver door, quickly after for all three other doors. Now all four doors are open. Okay, this is a five passenger, two in the front and three in the back. If you don't have a middle row passenger, you have this um, really cool uh, uh, wood trimming down here where um, you can control the stereo right from here, as well as uh, the air conditioning. And uh, up here, this is, a, I believe this is a cup holder, yes. And then we have a, like a little storage there and access to the trunk right from the inside of the car. We got AC vents coming off the center console. And uh, this actually just folds away like this in case you have a middle row passenger. All right, I'll leave it down. Uh, we also have anchors for baby car seats. There's one on each side behind the seat belt there, if we can see it. And that's so you can install your baby car seat and attach it down. Okay, the rear door panel is the same as in the front, beige with the uh, charcoal on top. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How it works is the following. Push that little lever in, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got um, small kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or older kids, just do the opposite, and this handle will start working again. Okay, uh, let me give you a look at the uh, panoramic moonroof. The rear panoramic moonroof looks a little darker because the front was obviously open and also because the uh, front moonroof slid back above the view here. But when you have it close, it's one even look. <coughs> All right, um, four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All the chrome trimming on the emblems and on the trunk, um, on this section of the trunk, it's all nice. It's not a, it's not a, it's not peeling or corrode or anything like that. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Rear window of the frosters. And uh, you can probably not see through there, but that's this is Bose, uh, Bose speakers. The mat, the uh, the rear window shade is kind of blocking it. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and pop the trunk. Take a look in there. And let me get the key out of my pocket. You press and hold. And it just pops up a little bit, and then you gotta lift it manually. 
Uh, nice and spacious trunk. All your tools and your spares underneath there has the two covers. This is your first mat, which uh, has a Ward Maxima on it. And then there's your second mat, which is just gray to match the rest of the uh, trunk. Let's go ahead and close this up. Come around to the passenger rear. Okay. Right rear door panel, perfect shape. Of course, we got the child lock on both sides. I'm sure by now you notice that none of the speaker covers are cracked. They're all in great shape. Pan around to this uh, seating area here so you can see it's really nice. This is a really, really sharp looking car. Okay. Right front door panel. Same way with the wood trimming as in the passenger side. As I was saying before, not only is the driver's seat power, but you have power seat and power recliner on the passenger side as well. This is the top of the line. Premium, um, premium package, premium technology. Everything that you want on it has this vehicle has. Has also the uh, factory floor mats with the anchors so they don't slide around. Okay, um, let's talk about financing for a minute. If you require financing, we have uh, uh, great rates for uh, good credit and we also have special financing for not such good credit. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing and you want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net Right on the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, and then give us a, a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the Vin Indies unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.